I love, I love Madrid so much. I, yesterday we were on two different floats or buses and the energy was just so good. I feel like, especially coming like from Switzerland, you know, like there's parties in Switzerland, people dance, but not like this. <laughs> it's like, it's a different level. Everyone knows how to have fun and it was just beautiful to get to know so many people. Last year was the first time I played at a Pride in Switzerland. And this year I played Zurich and we uh, were doing Madrid and Barcelona as yeah. well. Uh, yeah, it's, it's amazing. I feel like you really get to know the people of the city, especially the people I like feel drawn to. They all come together and it's, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, I think it's so many things coming together, you know, like at a Pride it's like, I mean, I think the, the protest aspect is very important, but it's also a, a great opportunity to just like, like raise visibility and, and, but also to just celebrate, you know, and celebrate um, coming together and having this community because I feel like it's like a giant family and, and you really feel that family coming together at an event. I've definitely felt that just the conversation has um, increased a lot in my country, like in Switzerland. More people, you know, like it's, it's always about having a face to something. And I was present in Switzerland before I had my coming out, you know, I, I um, did a lot of things as a, a Swiss German artist before I started writing songs in English. And I feel like people kind of knew me already and through the whole Eurovision experience they got to know like a face to like what it means to be non-binary and um, I think that it's, it's really important that we have people like we can either relate to like let's say a kid is non-binary themselves and has someone to look up to but also for people that are non not non-binary themselves or uh, maybe don't even know someone it's good to have people they can like put a name to you know what I mean um, and I think for that I, I, I just I, I love that people are talking about it more people are caring about it more they um, they don't just push it aside um, and and I feel like a lot of um, a lot of people started really understanding through this process and are continuing to do so in Switzerland which is really important. It was a, it was a long journey, yes. Yeah. yeah, it took a lot of I feel like it's always different when you're when you're a public person as well because I mean I was out to my family and friends in my relationship for a longer time already but I it took a lot of guts to do it in public as well because you're just so exposed and right now I feel like we're in a time where there's so much like misunderstanding and and unnecessary hate towards like trans and non-binary people uh, so it definitely felt like scary um, but I knew it was the only thing I could do because I don't want to pretend to be anyone else you know and um, change out of fear and I feel like um, the freedom I've gained through just staying true to myself or like being true to myself also publicly um, is like worth all the difficulties that come with it you know because I get to really express yeah myself and <laughs> that makes me really happy and I'm really glad that and I feel like, like definitely only come out when you feel safe to do so. I think that's like the best thing you can do. Like, yeah, be honest, be true. Like, I, I feel like in most places people will totally accept you for who you are. Um, but if you don't feel safe enough to do so, I think there's different places you can come out to or find a community, you know, like, luckily we have the internet nowadays. We have. Um, a lot of safe spaces in, in bigger cities you can go to and you can always come out there first, you know, um, just say, yeah, like, come out tomorrow, like, uh, um, just do it, you know, um, but um, yeah, there's a lot of, just remember that you have like 
a family apart from your family as well. And I think that's a really nice thought. Um, there's always gonna be people that understand you and they accept you for who you are, even if that's not your family. It's amazing, honestly, like that's what made this experience so valuable to me, just getting to know like all the hardcore fans and people that come over and over again, like every year they show up, they go to the city and that's, uh, that's being chosen to host Eurovision and they put so much love and so much energy and devotion into this. And I really believe those are the people that carry all of Eurovision. Like without, without this community, Eurovision would be nothing. And um, it's been amazing to meet so many of them. And um, I really feel like I'm part of the family. I really feel accepted. I feel um, like from the first moment on, you know, I feel like I was well, being well taken care of, and I can't wait to to continue to be part of it and do my part to really make this a fun place and and uh, and a happy family, <laughs> I guess. Hello, this is Nemo, and I'm sending so much love to the whole LGBTQ plus community in Spain. And I have a message. It's feliz alguro. A todos. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> orgullo, orgullo. I said it wrong. <laughs>